we are going to go to Joy Benedict. She is live in Ojai, where that storm caused Highway 33 to shut down. Joy? Yeah, we're getting a really steady soaker out here. We've been out here since about 4 o'clock this morning, and it has been raining the entire time. It's not necessarily a heavy rain, but it's a steady rain, and it is causing problems here up the roadway here. This is Highway 33 right at Fairview. You can see they got the, the front loaders here blocking folks from going forward. That's because there is a lot of mud there on the roadway. Take a look at this video that we shot not too long ago, and you can see just how much mud and rock, small boulders, have then flooded the highway. Highway 33 here north of Fairview, north of the Ojai community, and that is creating problems. That's why they don't want folks going in and out. There's just so much mud, not only there now, but the possibility of more mud and more boulders coming down because of what the ground looks like high up above. And of course, all of this stems from these images, the Thomas fire, the video of this fire that is just unforgettable really in this community that has caused so many problems here in the last couple of months. But because this area off Highway 33 north of Ojai doesn't have a lot of homes on it. Firefighters went ahead and they just let it burn. And what that did is that took away the vegetation that usually holds the mud and those rocks behind. So back out here live, I want to show you what we've been talking about, and that is the water flow. And you can see how it does still appear to be pretty clear. I brought this water bottle out here to show you guys just so that you can get a good look. I had a firefighter tell me once, when it rains a lot, don't look up. Look down because you want to take a look at the quality of the water that is running below you. And you can see, although it does have some mud in it, it is still pretty clear. And that is the best news that we can have for folks who are out here. They still want to see the water clear beneath their feet because that means that most of the mud is holding up in the hillside. And that's what we want. Guys, that is a really terrific tip. I didn't know that. We'll start to keep an eye on the ground this time. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom now continues our live team coverage. She is in Montecito. And Cara, are people listening to the mandatory evacuations? They really did. This is a ghost town here this morning. And Sharon, the good news is just a light rain falling right now. And all the markers say so far so good. Take a look. Here's one of those markers. This creek flowing uh, very nicely here this morning. No major uh, creeks. Uh, having issues, no overflows, uh, and that appears to be the case because they did a great job of clearing out some of these debris basins, clearing out all of the issues along uh, the, the creeks here. Now, if we come back here live across the way here, you can see one of the homes uh, that was destroyed by the flow that came down this creek in January. So much water, so much mud uh, that it just wiped out all of the homes along here. So that really gives you a feel for the impact back then, the impact today. Um, as well, if we pan over across the street, you can see one of the other homes here that uh, was completely destroyed by the mud flow here back in January. Now, we did speak with the EOC here this morning. They're telling us about 87% of people have left this area. Listen to that evacuation warning, uh, and you can compare that with 10 to 15% of people who left here in January, a huge number, uh, and they're crediting that with just the fact that folks are really listening to the, uh, to the warnings going out uh, and of course just went through this devastation here before so some good news for folks here this morning the EOC Jeff and Sharon hoping that the worst has passed they're saying by eight o'clock this morning they think the worst of the rain will have moved through uh, and they're very hopeful with what they're seeing out on the roads here so far